All right, guys, and welcome back to another video of um, how I edit my pictures in Japan. This photo was taken in Sapporo. Um, I forget when. I think it was uh, January. Might have been February, but it was freezing that night. Um, so basically, because it was cold and it was uh, snowing, which you can see here, but you can't really see a lot of detail. Um, and basically, I thought this would be a good picture to show you um, my like editing uh, style because uh, from this to the finished product is a complete change, basically. Um, this still looks good, to be honest. It's a nice little snap, but it doesn't really capture how I felt that night. And like I said with the other video that I did, I like to kind of show uh, like the feeling. So, for example, um, like we'll bring the temperature a lot down, maybe like to there. And already that kind of gets that coldness to it. See what I mean? Um, and then add a little bit of uh, the tint. Not not a huge amount. Um, just a tiny bit to get rid of the greens and already make it that kind of neon picture that we're going for. So um, yeah, we'll just go through it one by one, basically. Um, like I'm a beginner myself, to be honest. Uh, everything I've done is self-taught. So I, I'm just doing what works for me. Uh, you can change everything you want but I've, these kind of videos um i think are useful so if you like what you see give us a like uh subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and um yeah i hope you enjoy the video all right let's go so we've done the temperature we bring that that all not all the way down but until it shows some kind of coldness bring some blue back into the uh image uh brought the tint up get rid of that kind of green so we're on six now like if i bring the tint down you can see it just makes everything a bit more plain, almost like a bit more daytimey. Um, but if we bring it, yeah, we don't want to go too far because we can adjust like the purples later um, if that's what we want. Uh, it depends on like the image again. If you want it to be more purpley, you can bring it up. And if you want more blue, bring it down, things like that. Um, so yeah, what I like to do in all my images is like just bring the exposure all the way down. Obviously, so that, that's what I can see in the highlights. Okay, so that's what I want to be focusing on, right? By bringing it all the way down. If you bring it all the way up, that's going to be in the shadows. So if I bring the shadow slider up, which is there, that's going to be affecting everything there, basically. So um, nice little hint that that shows what you can do with the highlights. That shows what you can do with shadows. Uh, so for now, um, well, you could leave it at something like that, but I like to bring it all the way i like to over exaggerate because basically maybe a little bit more um, something like that yeah that looks all right something like that because basically we're going to be bringing everything back up we're going to be bringing the shadows up um highlights um bring them down but not all the way sometimes you can just bring them all the way down but now maybe Again, everything's going to be brightened when we like go into there and stuff, bringing up the um, the luminance and stuff. Uh, so for now, maybe like you know, just around there, just got to play with it. Uh, shadows usually I like to go all the way up, so let's just see what happens. Yeah, see that looks pretty cool. Now you can kind of see the outline that we talked about before. Um, you can bring, see the snow that's back in the image. And um, yeah, if we check um, before and after, so already it kind of looks that kind of like neon Blade Runner type picture, right? Um, so then uh, whites and blacks. So you can do this thing, which I only found out recently, but if you hold uh, shift and double click, it gives you the recommended amount. Um, that looks pretty good, to be honest. But, in my style, I like to bring them a little bit more up. <laughs> so maybe like around there. If you bring it up too much, you're not going to be able to see like a lot of the detail, a lot of the, the writing. So what does this recommend? This recommends 33. So we're going to go for about 50, I reckon, around there. Um, the blacks again, hold shift, double click. That brings it down, okay? So if you bring it down, 
it's going to be darkening obviously all the blacks and um, because we don't have a lot of shadows in this picture i want to see those shadows so look what happens when you bring it down you can't really see anything it still looks good but that's not what i want to go for because then you can't really see the snow and everything and i want to like encapture what i felt that night so i actually want to bring it up again you can like each picture it honestly changes like sometimes i go down sometimes i go up if you go up too much it just looks i mean see what i mean that still looks pretty good i was gonna say it looks bad but it looks good to be honest uh, but we don't we don't want to go that, that far um something around 75 right so then if we check the before and after again we're getting closer to that kind of neon blade runner type look um so yeah and then uh these sliders are you could go for days on these to be honest um for now i think my clarity you can kind of soften the image that looks really nice but in this image i want to show the snow so i'm bringing it up to about that's a bit too much mm, about 65 now we can see all that detail, especially in the shadows. Uh, before it was really dark, you couldn't see anything. Now we can see the snow. And that's how I felt that night. It was a lot more um, heavy snow than portrays on the actual picture itself. Uh, so texture, which just makes everything a bit more sharp and crisp. Again, I wouldn't normally do this. Also, if you're bringing the clarity down, I wouldn't really mess with texture. If you bring it up, I'd add a tiny bit. Like if you add it a lot it just looks too sharp do you know what i mean like hd kind of thing so we're going to bring that up to about i don't know about 15 or something and that looks pretty nice to be honest i like that um d haze d haze is a funny one because sometimes i like it just as is especially if you bring the clarity down again i reckon you leave the texture and bring the d haze slider down for this one um because the clarity is up usually i wouldn't bring it down but i'm Go into a little bit just to make a bit more whiteness to it and softness because it was kind of really heavy snow that night and like if we have it there it doesn't look as good if i maybe just a tad like can you see what it's doing it basically basically makes everything a bit more hazy hence the dhay slider <laughs> um and it was kind of like a mini snowstorm that night, which I want to kind of portray. So, yeah, we'll bring it about minus 10. That looks good, to be honest. And then, um, yeah, the next thing I want to do is uh, go down to the color grading. Okay, so on specific images, I would mess with the uh, mid-tone shadows and highlights. For this one, just because it's kind of like my first video, I'm just going to mess with the... Um, highlights and the shadows so for the highlights um i want basically the highlights you want to kind of blue shadows you want to kind of purple if you want that kind of neon look so i don't know what we can do maybe like around around one 190 usually works for me and then Depends how much you want to go. Um, yeah, that, that looks good. Like there. Just leave it there. Maybe a little bit more. See, and that just makes everything that more neon-esque. And then for the shadows, what we want to do is make these purple. So, I mean, it's all trial and error. Like, you could have it deep purple. You can maybe add a bit of pink there um we'll kind of leave it maybe 300 or something and then what do we want to do maybe hmm, maybe 290 and then bring it to about there so um to be honest it looked good just with highlights uh but what i then want to do is I want to bring it more towards the highlights. See, now this is what this is doing. So it's still maintaining uh, the shadows, but we're 
pushing it more towards the highlights. This will be more to the shadows. This will be more to the highlights. So do what you want, to be honest. Like, if you want more pink, if you want it in the middle, if you want more blue. Um, and then you can blend it. So blend it to about, I don't know, 80. Um, that's too much for me, I think. So I'm going to bring the saturation down, down. It's just all, it's just messing with it. Um, I want this to be really kind of blue, but not that blue. It's all just like trial and error. We bring the saturation down a little bit. Sorry, that's the luminance. Um, yeah, something like that, I reckon. That looks pretty cool. So if we check like the before and after. Yeah, looks pretty decent, I reckon. Um, then we want to go to the, um, the curves, tone curves, and basically I always do the, uh, oh God, why does I always do that? The, uh, S curve. Do so you want to make three points in the center there? This does the highlights, which we want to bring up because it's kind of a nighttime neon picture. Then the midtones, I like to bring down a little bit. And then this will make everything a bit more darker. See? Too much. Maybe we can put it over to the left a little bit. And then this makes blacks. Um, or it, it kind of gets rid of the true blacks. Um, it makes... Uh, I'll just show you. I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest. But that's what it does. <laughs> um, I don't know the technical term for it. But some of my pictures I do make... Not that much, maybe, but like that. It just kind of makes everything a bit more faded. There we go. That's the word. Um, some images, if you if you see my Instagram, you'll notice that that's what I do. And this is what a lot of people like. Some people like that. Um, for this one, I kind of just want like a tiny bit. Um, something like that. Yeah. So that's just like kind of darkened the image a little bit. And yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so next, the um, HSL sliders. So here, I mean, it's all just... So this is like the reds. We're just going to be bringing them all the way down to make them a bit more like pink and stuff. Um, oranges. I don't really like the yellows. So we'll bring... Yeah, see. Yeah, dark, darker is better in this case. Um, yellows again. Down is better, I think. How far down do we want to go? Yeah, about there. Green. Not much greens at the top, but seeing seen as we're making everything like orange, bring them down. Uh, aquas. A little bit in there. Right, now watch this. Oh. That's the money maker right there, ladies and gents. That's that's what you've come for. Um, yeah, so obviously you can go up and that still creates kind of a nice image. But what we want for this is kind of to go down um, to about there. It, it depends. I mean, I like that. I like that. That's really bright and it's almost over-exaggerated. But I like that look sometimes. Today, however, we'll kind of go for about go for about there. Um, purples and magentas. Uh, purples, what have we got here? Oh yeah, we've got some purples. See, I like it in the sign. Can you see it, the sign there? But it's also a lot in the snow, and I don't really like that. Like, if I bring it up, I like that. But I also like this blue down here. So I'm going to sacrifice that for this. Um... Yeah, you can see, like, look, there's there's all purple around these signs and stuff. It just doesn't look good. It looks better without. So we'll bring that down to about there. And then magentas, what have we got here? Um, not a lot, but it's kind of like in this sign here. If you check that sign. Uh, I like it. A bit more pink, to be honest. All right, now saturation. Again, just play to your heart's content. Let's try and speed through this. Um... Yeah, so again, you've kind of got, you can take the reds out of it. 
you can see it's like kind of in the convenience well not convenience store the vending machine but it's also in the walls and the sign there um you can go back in and edit it all with the brush tool um but i'm not going to show you that today um i'll do that in like a separate video today we're just going to be doing overall basic things um i think i'll sacrifice that to get rid of that just keep all the blue and kind of like the white in the image oranges yeah bring them down as well uh yellows probably bring down yep uh greens uh, yeah bring them up a little bit um aquas can't really see oh kind of in the greens over there uh blue uh yeah look at that it depends what you want to do um what do we want see if you bring it all the way down it's just pointless just gets rid of the um the whole point of what you're doing uh but if you bring it up it just makes everything a bit more saturated which is sometimes good to be honest um just trying to figure out what i want in this picture uh do you want to go up or down up or down if you can see in like the, the maybe this is like all the reflection that's the window if you bring it up and down down if i bring it down slightly it kind of gets rid of it um but if i bring it up it kind of detracts from the other blueness that i want in this instance, I'm going to go down a little bit, about there, because we're still maintaining all the blue. And there is a bit of blue there, but the main focus is over here. Um, purples. Oh, God. Um, purple. Ooh. However, I want to keep that. Uh, so... So what you can do is bring it back later. Um, but again, I'll show you it in a different video. Um, go down for now a little bit. Magenta. Uh, magenta. Bring that down a little bit as well. Okay, and then the um, luminance. Uh, this is what I like. That's what I like. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, bring that up. Oranges, uh, doesn't really matter. Yellows, again, doesn't really matter. Greens, oh, like that. So bring the greens up a little bit. Aquas, bring them up. Blue, yeah, this is where we get the slider. So you can bring it down for that kind of faded look. We want up, baby. Um, if you bring it too much, again, you can't really see what's in the writing. So we'll bring it up just a tad to get that kind of almost exposure. But it, I mean, it is exposure, but you're only affecting the blues of the image. Um, and then purples. There we go. I kind of like that. So now, so before you couldn't really see that, but now you bring it up. Um, it doesn't really affect the walls too much. So that's why I like to go through these things in order because luminance is the last thing that I do. And then magenta. Uh, again, see now it doesn't make too much of a difference. What's that? Minus 14, just so I don't forget. See, if you do that, ugh, it's horrible. Um, where was it? Minus. Yeah, it was about there. But now if we bring this up, this brings the color back without affecting the walls and the ground too much, which I like. So I think that's basically all for that. Then um, this thing, again, you can just like mess around the entire time. But because we've got snow... I want people to focus on the snow. Usually, if you bring the, um, we spoke about it before, the clarity. If you bring the clarity down, um, you don't want to really sharpen anything because it's kind of the opposite. But because we've got clarity up already, we're going to be bringing that up, I reckon, to about 100. You can see what it does here. So it's kind of like a bit blurry. If you bring it up too much, like, look at that. It's, it's way too much, I reckon. So, actually, we'll bring it up, like, 75 or something. Uh, the radius, I never go above 1.5. Don't ask me why. 
Um, detail. What the detail does. Just makes everything a little bit more crisp. I'm going to keep that at 75 as well. And then again with the masking. So if you hold Alt. Um, so everything in white is uh, being affected basically. So if we do that, only the signs. Uh, if you do that, the whole image is basically being affected. So this is basically just covering up areas that we don't want to be affected or we don't want to be sharpened. So do like I want to I want to make sure the snow's in it, but I don't want a lot of anything else. So around about there. Uh, maybe bring it down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, noise reduction. I don't miss too much with this, but because we've got a bit of color, I, want, I just want to bring it up. You can see what it does in the backgrounds. Um, so I'll bring that up to about... I, I don't like to go too high. Usually I stay between 20 and 30. Um, if I can get the slider to go on 20. There we go. And then, yep, remove chromatic aberrations, enable profile corrections. Um, and then the last one is the um, uh, vignetting. So, uh, yeah, I mean, go to your heart's content. Like, uh, what could we do? Go for like 23. Uh, midpoint brings everything into the center. Um, so although we've got a person here, which is really nice, I don't really want to bring it right into the center. So we'll do it a little bit. Um, no, that's too much. Like around about there. Uh, feather it off. About there. You can take... Yeah. See, I don't want the highlights to be affected. So bang them up and that, that just brings the light back in. And pretty much done for like a easy quick edit i'll say quick edit but um then maybe bring this down not up um maybe bring exposure back a little bit and um yeah it's before and after to be honest um just a quick edit i'd, I'd spend a bit more time um especially around here um, I'd experiment, honestly, like 30 minutes, I'd just be experimenting on a combination, but I just picked a quick one here because, uh, kind of just looked good, but basically, yeah, highlights, you just want some kind of blue, um, but I'd experiment, honestly, for like, yeah, ages, just like, which pink, which tone of blue, and then you got, you can blend them and balance and all that, but yeah, um, what do you reckon, guys? I hope you like this, um, let me know if you want more, uh, photography, like, tutorials i guess uh because yeah i really like doing them really like sharing my kind of um editing style and uh what i like to do with the picture um like i said before like uh, the picture on the left it felt like the picture on the right but the camera didn't portray it at the time so through lightroom i can just kind of like show you um how i was feeling how the picture was basically um in another picture as well what i would do is um uh, in another video, sorry, I would get the brush tool, and um, I mean, I could quickly do it now to show you, but uh, you can create new mask, brush, and then I can just do this really quickly, but basically, there's some lights here, okay, this is going to look really bad, okay, um, I'd edit it a lot more carefully if I was doing this properly, um, and then basically, you can just bring the exposure up, Maybe the highlights, and that just makes, because we brought the highlights down, now it's bringing them all back without affecting the picture. Um, another thing you could do is if you create a new mask, um, let's just go back, hang on, let's just go back onto the main picture, um, create a new mask, and if you want the linear gradients, um, so for example, um, I kind of don't want people to focus on this area, all right? So with the linear gradient, you can kind of do that. Check, um, well, get rid of the um, checked box there, show overlay, just so you, that just shows you what's being affected, basically. 
Um, so I do that. And then basically, if you bring the exposure down. Now, can you see? Now your eyes aren't really drawn to that area. And you can do it as much as that, to be honest. Um, and then maybe you could do like um, another one. Uh, it could kind of maybe not like that, but something like that. And then again, just bring it down. And that just kind of, oh, maybe a bit too much, but that then basically draws you more into the center. So now you're kind of just looking at that. And so if we look at the um, uh, before and after image again, yeah, quite happy with that for a kind of quick edit. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, make sure to like, uh, subscribe, and um, let me know what pictures you want me to edit. Because uh, yeah, now the travel ban, not travel ban, but it's getting kind of back to normal in Japan now. So traveling is going to be a lot more safe. And um, yeah, I've got some nice trips coming up. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my pictures from around Japan. So that's uh, Deck VS Japan. And um, yeah, cheers, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. All right, cheers. Bye. See you. Janet.